How's it going everybody? Welcome to GHMV Reacts. I am so excited today. Today, we are looking at Lucky and Sam, Lou Sam. I truly adored this couple and I haven't looked back at them in quite some time. I've got some really good clips today. Um, most of them pertain to just one storyline and it's an entire storyline, but it's a short one, but a good one. But before we do that and before I get into that uh, story, we're going to look back at the steamy hot scene that made me fall in love with Lucky and Sam because let's face it, Kelly Monaco and Greg Vaughn are gorgeous people and the, the show knew that. Let's watch this scene together. <laughs> oh wow they slowed it down <laughs> okay well i guess we'll watch this version then uh, well clearly the person that um that slowed this down slowed this down for a reason what can i say it was only a minute long anyway. <laughs> I can't believe they slowed this down. Y'all are pervs, you know that? But anyway, this is why, you know, Lucky and Sam were so hot. They're just so pretty together. Okay. Let's pause this for a second. I said pause. Okay. So... This storyline is why I fell in love with Lucky and Sam. It is from their adventure in Mexico. And from what I remember, Luke wanted Lucky to deliver some kind of jewels or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll refresh our memories together. But this story is so fun. I can't wait for you guys to watch this if you haven't already. Let's watch together. Sam. Hey, I got your message, which one? All right, we don't have much time. Anthony's cars people are going to be here in a couple hours to open up the place, so I need to know, do you know a Dr. Von Schiemerman? Schiemerman, <laughs> that's my dad. That's what I thought. Wait, he sent this to you? Yes, to my email, and I have no idea how I got my address. In the break, the still weighing marbles. Wheel them down to pop at the Pope Yeah, what does it mean? Sam? Tracy? Uh, can you hear from your father? I never hear from my dad when he's on the road. You know that. Yeah, any, anyway, we kind of thought you were with him. I came back. <laughs> Was it a little too much adventure? Well, actually, I had a choice. I could either join him on the pub crawl or come home and make a more rational choice. But your father should have sobered up by now. I should have heard from him. Why would you think that? I took his case of money. And according to my calculations, he's been flat broke for 10 days. So if I haven't heard from him, you haven't heard from him, where is he? Tracy may not believe it, but my dad loves her. And if he isn't calling her about money, then there's a problem. All right. Well, are you sure he's not just off on some bar crawl? No, if he's sending me messages in code through you, all right? That means he doesn't want Tracy involved. He's trying to protect her. Okay, then what do we do? We find those jewels and get into my dad. Jewels? My jewels? Read the message. Liberate the stowaway marbles. We'll go down to Papa at the purple papoose. See, marbles are Spencer code for jewels. See, they're smaller and easier to transport than currency. Oh. So let's see. Wheel. Wheel. It probably means roulette table. Right. Let's. Hey, we're the marbles for the roulette boards. I just remember that this was the first time in a long time that Lucky was acting like Luke Spencer's son. And that's why I really loved them as a couple. Mm, okay, I'm impressed. She really brought that out of them. What about the purple papoose? Papoose is my favorite place in Mexico. This night. No, 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 no. You're not going alone. Your father sent that email to me, so obviously we're in this together. 
Yes, I'm sure. Vixen will hear me. I loved them. Uh, all right, let's continue. <laughs> all right, this is good. It looks like the kind of place your father would definitely be into. Yeah, then where is he? I don't know. Knowing your dad, he's probably laying low to make sure we weren't followed. Mac has no jurisdiction here, and he can't even touch him without having a Mac strapped across the border. First. Yeah, but guess what? Trace can. And who do you think he's more afraid of running into? That's a good point. While we wait. No, I. Hey, 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 let me go get it, please. I, 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 uh, I think I can handle this. Oh my goodness. No, I think my tenor probably knows something. This is my territory. Listen, that's what I'm afraid That's why I'm here. I'm Hola. <laughs> um, dos cerveza, por favor. Bottle or glass? Oh, no. Where's my Spanish at that? The accent can be so <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll work on it. I guess I will go with something harder. Tequila, too, please. Maybe it'll loosen me up a little bit. The R's can roll off. I'll be loosen up Chica. Logan! <laughs> Let's get out of here. My bike's out back. Um, I'm not interested, okay? Get interested. We're going for a ride. I could... You got a problem, Ingrid? Okay? No. Make me. No, I'm not looking for any trouble. Oh. 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 Let him go! Get out of here and take your friend. And that, we're looking for someone. But let me guess. Luca Spencer. All right, all right. So, how do you know Luke Spencer anyway? Uh, he's been a right out of here for the last couple of weeks. He comes in, has a few drinks, he leaves. Now, when's the last time you saw him? A few days ago. He mentioned that a pretty girl and some guy that matches your description will come asking for him. Yeah, did he leave a message? <sighs> Just some numbers. Did he leave anything else? Name of a hotel, maybe a bank? Something that these numbers correspond to? Sorry, that's it. Okay, well, do you think it could be account numbers or something? Listen, I don't know what else to think. My dad usually gives me more to work with than this. All right, well, I think it's been a long time since your dad's been on the run, so he's probably just starting to slip up a little bit. You know what he can do this stuff in his sleep? Didn't he go on the run like every six months on this show? Because <laughs> of Tony Geary's vacation? I was a kid, and I just got to figure out what, what this means. This is nice. What? What? I've seen you in your element, and... Exactly. I'm investigating. I feel like I'm finally, finally getting to know the real Lucky Spencer. Exactly. Mm. Ah, okay. uh, this chick. <laughs> you need to remind me to thank your father when we find him. For what? For what? Well, I have forgotten what it's like to. Just pick up and go, you know? Back in my salvage days, I would do it all the time. I'd just sell from one port to the next. No plan, no schedule, just leave. Do you ever regret giving it up? Yeah, sometimes. I think my life See, they really brought the best out in each other, and that's why I really loved them. Back then, and it was a lot easier to stay distracted, and things got tough, I would just go, and I can't do that now. It wouldn't necessarily be fair. Yeah? For who? Well... And my mom and my sisters mm. and you <laughs> I never would have guessed a cop could handle himself so well in a bar fight well you would be surprised <laughs> what they teach in the academy these days oh yeah do they teach you how to handle big biker guys <laughs> no I became a cop to make a difference to try and do something good with my life not that I'm imposed to rules and regulations or trying to have fun. You know what, that probably just sound a little defensive. Well, I think it sounds like that you have 
we caught a lot of criticism, probably from Luke, probably for the choices that you've made. Yeah, my dad doesn't understand how a kid of his could end up on the wrong side of the law, at least as far as he's concerned. Well, I happen to like who you are, and I wouldn't change a thing. Neither would I. Oh, that's good. You know, you just <laughs> seem so relaxed and happy, a little different from when we're back home. So I. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, Cindy. Who's your friend? Cindy and I go way back. <laughs> oh, sorry, Sam. We met in Albuquerque. I was with this really terrific guy named Dennis at the time. Me and Dennis had actually started shopping for engagement rings, and then Cindy showed up. Her name is Sam. You can imagine my surprise. There I was one night watching television. Everyday heroes. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, sweet little Cindy starts talking right to me. Oh, all about how to survive a house fire. Except they say her name is Sam McCall. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Sharon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I haven't uh, told your boyfriend what happens. <clears throat> Dennis. And sweet little Cindy started getting it on. Yeah, it's obviously not a part of my life that I'm proud of. <laughs> Come on, you're not the first woman to try to snag a man with money. <laughs> Except most of them don't actually clean the guy out in six months and disappear. <laughs> if you're gonna give a history lesson about Sam, save your breath. I know all about her past and I don't care. Oh, how sweet. I like a guy who's open-minded. Why don't you dump Cindy? Like hang out with me for a while. <laughs> Dance with me. <laughs> I don't think so. I shared mine. Why can't you share yours? Uh, you know, we were never friends, Sharon. This trip down memory lane is over. Why don't we let Mr. Spencer speak for himself? How do you know my name? Uh, you're looking for Luke Spencer, right? I'm guessing you're his son. He describes you pretty well. What do you know about Luke? We've been hanging out some. He's one amazing dude. Do you know where he is? I sure do. I'd be happy to tell you. If you dance with me. No, oh, come on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Don't worry about it, Cindy. <laughs> I love this storyline. Oh. I'm cutting in. Excuse me, hon. Thanks. Ow! <laughs> This is crazy. Are you going to read her rights? <laughs> she has the right to sleep in a jail cell tonight. What? Why don't you tell him that she started this? Uh, this is the second bar fight you've been in since you come in here. I don't need this trouble. What about the boyfriend? He didn't do anything. I'm going with Sam. You're not under arrest. When can I bail her out? Next week, maybe. Welcome to Mexico. I want a lawyer. Go ahead. Besides, your girlfriend's easy to look at. We may want to keep her around for a while. Man, I hate doing this to a fellow officer. It could be worse. I don't see how. Uh, well, uh, let's see. At least they didn't strip search us. <laughs> and I, I... I don't see any rats running around. Yet. At least they didn't put us in separate cells. I'm sure they will soon. Unless we make a break for it. You see that? Uh. So how is your, like, hip? You think you can make it run? Oh, my hip is fine. And happy or sadly enough, I am an old pro at jaw breaks, and I've got a plan, and it's foolproof. Uh, I don't uh, argue, please. I, oh, I can't argue, because I haven't heard it yet. Okay, listen. 
Listen, I think that first what you do is we're going to yell for the guard, okay? And you're going to say, hey, guard, my girlfriend's feeling really sick and she's <laughs> acting all fever. <laughs> Come on, you're going to argue with me already? Well, no, it's a, you said girlfriend. You never say that back home. Oh, <laughs> of course. That's just because nobody likes the fact that well, we're together. Well, we're going to start you? ignoring them, right? Okay. Go on, just tell me your story. Okay, so, and then I'm going to act all sick, and I'm going to I'm gonna go off there, and I'm going to, like, <laughs> like feverish and sick, and then I'm going to open my <laughs> whoa, blouse. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, I'm not, I'm not liking this all of a sudden. Marky, it's called cleavage, and it's the best weapon we've got, so listen to me, please. Please, listen to me. It's going to work. So while I'm distracting the guard, I'm like, oh, then you come in, and you knock him out, and we make a run no, for it. No, it's too risky. Come on, do you have a better idea? Not yet, but... You got me thinking. Okay, good, because we need to be thinking. And I'm thinking, this so I'm the closest I'm Greg Vaughn got, got to Jonathan Jackson's, nice. Jackson's version of Lucky. I started the bar fight. Lucky, please, I have done this before. Please, I know it's gonna work, trust me. Please. Okay, okay, go for it. Okay, watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Something? You two know each other? Yeah, I'm um, sorry. Uh, Francisco Quintana. Lucky, lucky. Francisco, he mm. helped captain the very first ship that I ever worked on. He taught me everything I know, by the way. Mm. What are you doing in a Mexican jail cell? Ah, pues, the, the wife told me to settle down, get a good, safe job. Not so good. Ah, if you're trying to distract me while he beats me up, though, huh? Oh, no, but that was my idea, but I'm up to it. You, you You're are... very, very gullible, huh? Mm. <laughs> oh, come on. You're gonna help us out, aren't you? Sure. What? But, uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to buckle up your, uh, your blaster yes, before... Yes, yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. This is something that's missing with today's couples on the show. Like, just adventure, which was, like, a key component in... In, uh, in couples that were really popular on GH just throughout the decades, especially in the 80s. Like, when's the last time a couple had an adventure like this? Think of it. I can't. Maybe it's this one. <laughs> and the numbers on your feathers note correspond to the longitude and latitude, then yeah, this is the spot. Yes. She's no cabin. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe your father's camping out. He does have good survival skills, yeah. Yeah, the best. When I was a kid on the run with my parents, we like camped out in like ten different countries, including snow camping in uh, Finland. <laughs> no, we should do. We should look for some cigar butts or some empty bottles. Uh, come on, lucky, please. There's no sign of him or anyone else. Maybe I did it wrong. Maybe it's not the right spot. Yeah, well, maybe Daddy's just like a hundred miles away. You know, sampling the local tequila. Well, I'm not complaining. This, to me, is a whole lot better than sitting in some jail cell. They're so cute. Oh, I love this scene. Oh my god, watch this. Good morning. Definitely. I guess my father didn't show up. Well, maybe he'll show up today. Okay. Don't panic and no sudden moves. Just. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. I 
hate snakes. Okay, so, so I'm gonna make it a straight campfire, coffee, beef jerky, chocolate, tortillas. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I'm from, it doesn't get better than this. I agree. I can't believe you had all that in your backpack. Yeah, my daddy told me to be prepared. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah, I didn't want to stop and get any more supplies just in case your good old friend hadn't finished with his paperwork. Oh, come on. He will. He will definitely finish. He's not going to let me run around <laughs> Mexico as a fugitive. Mm. Maybe. <sighs> I like this. I like who we are out here. Everything's easier. Yeah. They deserve to just be in peace out here. No phones. No emails. Yeah, you're different. Get out! What? Fox, get it! What? Kill us! It's just... Hurry! No, right there! Get it before it jumps on us! Ah! Okay, Stop okay, it! Okay, okay, okay. Oh it's a spider. I know, and I hate spiders. I have arachnophobia. Kill it, please! Okay, why don't you just sign off my <laughs> back, you know? <laughs> she's... She's good at handling killing snakes, but not spiders. Alright, here we go. I love it. <laughs> Whoa, 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 wait, why did, why did you do that? It's just gonna come back and crawl through all of our stuff and bring all of its friends. You don't believe that, do you? Ugh. All right, fine, my head doesn't believe it, but maybe my brain does, and I'm sorry, I am a coward when it comes to spiders. Oh my it's God. okay. They were just too fun. <laughs> do. You know, I think we should break camp soon. No. I wish we could stay here forever. It's just, you know, it's been really great to have you all to myself. You know, if I don't pay enough attention to you, I'm really sorry. Oh, please, Lucky, you, you are great. And I love spending time with you, wherever we are. I, I love spending time with you here or at the Haunted Star. I mean, in my hot tub. <laughs> anywhere, <laughs> anywhere. The hot tub was their it's thing. Just that I know that your time. There's a lot of demands on it back home, and I just really want to enjoy our time while it lasts. You know, you always make it sound like we're about to fall apart. I wish you just would believe that I do care about no, you. No, I do. I do believe that, and I, I know that you care. I mean, just come on, let's face it, Lucky. You were in love with Elizabeth way before I showed up. And it's not its not that I think that you don't care about me or that you don't want to spend time with me or what we have isn't real because I know it's real. It's just, it's just the way that it is. Listen, I don't want to think about our life in Port Chuck, as Port my Chuck. dad would say. Oh. <laughs> I just want us to be here, right here and now with you. What's going on in the rest of our life? That's why I love them. I just don't want us to end. I didn't either. <laughs> uh... We aren't here to make any trouble, so don't worry. Yes, I ran into an old friend of John. He helped us out. Okay. So, any sign of Luke Spencer? There was this one cowboy who stood off to the side, big hat. Dusty, like he was working the cattle. What, do you, you think it was Luke? Could have been, but it was dark, and I was busy. Come on. What? All right, well, if Luke was this close, why didn't he show up this night? <sighs> Brooklyn, what do we do now? We get the jewels where we stash them. Perfect. Why not? Ah, let me. Cowboy, thanks for the fun. Soon. Give my love to Leslie, Lou, Barbara Jean, and Tracy. Happy trails. Happy trails. Yeah, Daddy gets a little carried away sometimes, but um, we did it. We did. Congratulations. Sweet. <laughs> I, I kind of wish that the story lasted longer than it did. It was so fun. Back to Port Chuck. Mm, yeah, we do. Do we? What's the hurry? <laughs> That was so good. That was so good. All right, thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. I adored Lou Sam. I'll let y'all in on a little bit of a secret, okay? Because you guys know that I'm a J Sam fan. However, I kinda liked Lucky and Sam a little bit 
better. I, I know, I know. But yeah, I honestly, like, they were just fun to watch. There was no, I mean, there was drama, obviously, otherwise they wouldn't have broken up. But like, Jason and Sam didn't really have this where it wasn't like urgency and mob stuff. Just to see Sam in her element and Lucky in his and them just going on an adventure like this. It was fun. And then throughout the, you know, their time of being in a relationship, you saw Sam becoming a PI and doing what she loved to do and Lucky just kind of being the tag along. Whereas with Jason and Sam, Jason was very much kind of taking the lead of their relationship through most of it, except in 2009. That's when they kind of were on equal footing, which is why that was my favorite era for Jason and Sam. Um, but yeah, that's Lucky and Sam, you guys. If you want, go and look up more clips. I, I might do that myself, just to myself. Sorry, guys. Um, but anyway, if you liked this video, give it a big ol' thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.